1979 when I started SKS Industries. The name came from my, my wife Sherry, my daughter Kelly, and my son Scott. I nosed around and found out that there was a company over in Canada that made VCI. I ended up buying product. Over in Canada though, they didn't print their name on it, they just sold it just brown wrapping paper with VCI in it. I needed to have printing on it. And that's when I started printing Anox on it. We started taking off uh, our first year. I think we did a grand total of $15,000 worth of business for the whole year. In the beginning, we, uh, we, we worked as best we could. A lot of learning, a lot of learning. I had to invoice, never did that before. I had to learn about import-export because I was buying from another country. That year I bought a Volkswagen Rabbit diesel. Got 50 miles to the gallon. I didn't know where the next dollar was coming from. It was, uh, it was pretty tough. We weren't taking any money out of it or very little money out of it. We took our master bedroom and converted it into a uh, to an office. So my wife loved her horses, so she took out a, a phone with her out to the stables. While she was mucking out, uh, she'd have a phone there. If it rang, she just picked it up and said, SKS Industries may help you. Within the year we were running it, first two or three years, it just got a little bit better, a little bit better. About three years after we got, got into it, we moved into Howell to a a very small office and about a year or so later then we moved into a little bit bigger office. We stayed there for I don't know, probably four or five years. January of 1991 we ended up buying the existing building we're in, 7,500 square foot building with offices in it. You know I think it was just the determination um, I hadn't done this before. I don't know, maybe it was uh, the way it was supposed to be.